Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take another first hand look at Logic Pro X. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this new tool called Logic Remote. Now what Logic Remote is, is basically this app that works in tandem with Logic Pro X. Essentially what Logic Pro or Logic uh, Remote allows you to do, it allows you to use your iPad as an additional surface to access, you know, different MIDI information, uh, like for example, like MIDI keyboards, MIDI, uh, you know, drums, uh, things like that, uh, different smart controls or hotkey commands and the mixer. So a whole bunch of different really cool things. Um, all you need to do is just download it from the App Store uh, once you buy Logic Pro X. Let's go ahead and take a, a really good look at it. So it just, you know, it'll do that. It'll just make sure that you're connected and everything like that through, um, it looks like Wi-Fi. I'm not too sure if it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Got to be one of the two. Um, now, just to also let you know, it only works with the iPad and the iPad mini. I don't know if it's going to work with the uh, iPhone or iPod touch just yet, or if it'll ever. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, so what we're looking at right now is basically the mixer view. And you can access, you know, a whole bunch of different views here in this main panel right here. But for right now, let's go ahead and stick with the mixer. Uh, as you can see right here uh, with my arrow, uh, you have a very simplified uh, version of the transport bar. Um, but uh, you could actually access a whole bunch of different controls in other sections uh, in this main section, uh, namely the, the key command area. But we'll get into that in, in a little bit. Let's stick with the mixer. Okay, cool. So what right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and hit play. We're going to hear this little uh, the song and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, move these faders up and down so you can see how responsive it is. Now, it's actually a little bit more responsive than you're going to actually see me uh, actually do, and that's because I'm actually video recording, so there might be a slight delay. Uh, but other than that, it's really responsive if you're just, you know, using it without, you know, recording and playing back and doing all this crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and hit play and hear how the song sounds and start mixing. We can't make a single So pretty cool. Um, now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and access an instrument right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select the electric piano. And what's really cool is that you get this uh, surface right here, and it really reminds me of GarageBand on the iPhone or iPad. So if you if you actually uh, you know either used or you know messed around with GarageBand on the iPhone or iPad, you'll see that it's it's a very familiar interface. So um, you know. Of, cor of course, you can play the notes like that, uh, but you also have uh, this arpeggiator as well. And the arpeggiator is uh, really built into most of the instruments, which is which is really handy, actually. Let's go ahead and bring back our little uh, iPad here. Now, um, what's also cool is that you could play something. Let's go ahead and uh, have it arpeggiate. And I'm going to start messing with the parameters. And you can see that they change in real time. So all these are just uh, different smart controls, the parameters that you probably want to go ahead and you know play around with, uh, which is really, really nice because they made it that simple. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what other uh, instrument options you have. Let's go ahead and check out the chord strip. So essentially what this does is uh, by uh, you know clicking on any of these or actually pressing down with your iPad um, and any of these little empty areas right here, you can play a different chord in that in that key. 
So let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. So pretty nice. You get the idea. Uh, basically, you can uh, play these chords that are going to sound uh, nice together, um, and it it just makes uh, making music a lot more fun and, and easy. Let's go ahead and see what else what we got here. So we we take we took a look at the mixer. We took a look at the smart controls and keyboards and the, the keyboard strips. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the uh, key commands. So you get this additional surface right here. Let me go ahead and go back to the very uh, first panel. Uh, you get the, these really simple key command uh, buttons. So if you want to save, instead of hitting you know Command Z on your keyboard, you just hit the green button right there, and boom, you saved. Or, or you could do uh, instead of doing a Control uh, Z to undo, you do uh, just un undo right here, or redo, or cut, or copy, or paste. So you pretty much get the idea. And you could even uh, create your own custom hotkey commands. Uh, I created these two right here: a forward and rewind button. I'll go ahead and create another new one right now. So it'll allow you to um, basically create a key command for nearly anything. Uh, as you can see right here, you have, uh, these are your main, I guess, uh, your main panels or your main uh, options right here, but then you have these uh, sub options. So if I go to the, the global commands, if I wanted to create another stop or play button or maybe a fast rewind or fast uh, forward or you know whatever, maybe a scrub rewind or something like that, I just create it once. So let's go ahead and use it. And there you see. If you could uh, see, I'm slightly moving backwards. There you are. Cool. Uh, so that's uh, some of the instruments that you, or some of the tools that you can use on the surface. And then you also get uh, something called Smart Help. So it'll, you know, link you back to, uh, I think, like Safari and, uh, or I mean, it's some sort of a, uh, like directory or something like that. That's what it is. Let's go ahead and go back here. You could do automatic. If you are working with, let's say, for example, a, a stringed instrument, you could even uh, play your instruments like, um, let's say for example, let's go to a bass. You could play it like an actual bass. So I'll go over here to the bass track right here, go back over here. And now I have myself a fretboard. So I can go ahead and and you can even pick from different scales and stuff like that. So if I wanted to play uh, let's say a uh, minor blues style. Pretty interesting. Um, I don't know how exactly how how useful it is, but it's it's interesting, kind of fun. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the the first hand look at Logic Pro's Logic Pro X's. Uh, Logic Remote. It, it gets a little confusing with the names, uh, but yeah, it's it's a really fun tool. Definitely check it out. It's uh, free to download, and of course, there's going to be more videos that we're going to be uh, you know showing you guys. The next video I'm going to be showing you guys is how to work with Flex Pitch. Now, Flex Pitch is really awesome. It's basically, uh, I, I would say, it's a, a big of a advancement as when we first got Flex uh, Time in Logic Pro 9. And we'll, I'll definitely show you how to use that in the next video. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.